I'd like to say, let's meet the panel. Good morning, Christopher Biggins, ladies and gentlemen. But, uh, <laughs> quite plainly... He's gone on a diet. <laughs> he's gone on a diet. He's, he's yeah. nearly here. He's nearly here. We'll be hearing him going, oh! <laughs> as he comes through. But he's not quite here. We did think about getting the gentleman in the front row of the audience. I don't know if we can get the camera there. This chap here. We did think about putting him on the audience and making out that he was Biggins, uh, but we didn't. He could just be under an invisibility cloak, <laughs> presumably, yes. couldn't he? We, we do have Larry Turner, though, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Well, this will be you a won't first. exactly. You won't hear that. I switched on my TV last night. So a very obscure cable channel, and they were cooking on TV. And you can oh, the cook. The MasterChef thing. Yes, they were reshot. I'd never seen it, and I was gobsmacked that you can genuinely cook. You have to come over for dinner, then, will you? Well, you've never. If I don't get invited to parties or drinks, it would be nice if you'd be invited <laughs> to something, Matthew. <laughs> after five years of working with you. Right. You're invited. Thank you. OK, I'll have to get something sorted. Trout obviously, it has to be, it has to be, it has to be raw and has to be, you know, obviously... Are you no. on this weird... Are you still on raw food? No, but I am quite healthy, as you know, so I'd have to vet the uh, menu first. Because of your nutritionalism mm. studies. Yes. Can't you see I look ten years younger? You do. Than you, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, everybody <laughs> is these days. Our special guest of the morning, ladies and gentlemen, is Hugh Dennis. <laughs> Can you do a Christopher Biggins impression? I can't. I can't, really. I, I'm intrigued by, if you're a very good cook, what the point of having food that is raw would be. Yeah. Why would that... How would that... <laughs> food preparation. It would oh, all, be, okay. all be in the um, decoration on the plate. Oh, okay. Okay. Now he's what would you do? I made, him, I, made him a, I made him a green cheesecake recently, which he didn't eat any of. No. Well, it presumably, it looks like an ordinary cheesecake. It's gone off, doesn't it? <laughs> I mean, <that's> <laughs> no. It's had happened? spirulina in it. <laughs> spirulina. Yeah. That's very good for you, isn't it? Is that a seaweed yeah, it is. thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I used to have a little thing called a spirulina. Spirulina ball every yes, morning. Yes, very good. Oh, what? Yeah. But you gave them up. A spirulina you? ball. They're like little, and they were covered in almonds. Oh, don't let's not get into this. It's too. Are you quite cranky on the food front as well? Then? No, I'm not at all cranky. I got given a box of spirulina. That's why I really <laughs> like them. Yeah, I haven't had them since. Now the comic here has just finished a nationwide tour with his longtime friend and comedy collaborator Steve Punt, who we met uh, while studying at Cambridge. Uh, Hugh's also a regular on the BBC Two satirical panel show Mock the Week, hosted by the, I think, frankly adorable Dara O'Brien. And we were going to show a clip, but due to technical problems, we can't anymore. So shall yeah. we recreate it? Hello, hello, hello. What's been going on then? I've no idea. <laughs> Dara. That's a fantastic impression. Though. Well, <laughs> that's the best I can do. <laughs> Just shave the... your hair off and put on about four stones. <laughs> <laughs> <butter. laughs> now, are we going to see more of you in your sitcom as well? Is that? Yeah, I do a um, a sitcom for BBC One called Outnumbered. Yeah, you're which, the teacher uh, with the dysfunctional family. Yeah. yeah. Is it dysfunctional or is it just normal? Well, I, uh, <laughs> <laughs> normal, borderline dysfunctional. Yeah, no, that starts again in September. And maybe changing channels? Is that, uh, is that no, it's research? on the same channel, but last year they did it across two weeks. So it's one of those weird um, bits of scheduling. So it went Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday night in one week, then Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday night in the next week at half ten, and that's been promoted. Um, they normally only do that when it's like a, a bowl thing, isn't it? When they've got a big bowl championship. No, they did quite a bit of it last it year. It must be very important to go across a big the bowls I, I had a, ch a talk show that used to get taken off whenever there was bowls on. So is bowls are clearly very important. Spirulina bowls? Well, that, no, yeah. Normal bowls. Well, lawn, lawn, yes, yes. I did once. Uh, I've never seen. Uh, it, it, when's it on, bowls? When, whenever my shows get oh, okay. taken off, clearly. <laughs> I did once when I lived in Yorkshire once. I was. Um, I was really looking forward to seeing there was some European football match on, Liverpool versus someone, and it, it just wasn't on in that area. And they said, just as I turned on to watch this, they said, and now, crown green bowling from <laughs> Cleck Eden. <laughs> Which I just, this is, is appalling. Now, is it true, is it true you were once questioned by police over suspicions that you were a flasher? Yes. That's something to me on TV. How, how did that yeah. come about? Then? Uh, I was a lot younger. <laughs> um, <laughs> No, it was because... He even laughs like he, 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 he's uncanny. Yeah, yeah. yeah. he's here. <laughs> he, I, in my year off, before I went to college, I was the assistant to the assistant caretaker at a big Yorkshire comprehensive school. But I had to start work at 7 in the morning and I finished at 11. Then I started again at 3 and I finished at 7 at night. And uh, I lived a long way from this school. I had to drive there. So in the middle of the day... I couldn't go home, so I used to go to sleep in the car, in the country lane, 
in this stu big student Mac that I had <laughs> in the car. And this unfortunately coincided <laughs> with the fact that actually at the school at which I was working, there had been several flashing incidents. And I just woke up in the middle of the day in the car and the, I was sort of surrounded... <laughs> Surrounded by policemen saying, you know, yeah, can you identify yourself? And I thought, well, certainly not in the way you want me to because <laughs> that's just wrong. And uh, well, it was fine. I had to go down to the police station and it was all sorted out. I don't think there's any record of it. And I. I don't think anyone knows about it now. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think they do now. Yeah. Lovely to have you here. Uh, lovely to have you with us this morning. There are some great talking points today. I should tell you about them. Uh, it's going to kick off, though, of course, with Hugh leading us through the papers. Can you read that? I, to the be honest, I, I didn't know. Mm. And this, honestly, I wish I could show you, but it's the most beautiful dress. Fiver. We, we, we can bitch about her now. She's not yeah. here. Yeah. She's terrified. I know. Absolutely terrified of doing I know. it. But she's I'm, amazing, I'm though. I'm so proud of her because she really is. I think she is the future. That's, that's the way to go. OK, uh, let's find out what's on Making News Day. Hugh, what have you got for us? You're going to have to share out some of Biggins' papers as well. So uh, I think I've got one of them here. <laughs> this is, but that's the last yeah. one. Yeah, OK. Um, the first one I've got is this, uh, it's from the Telegraph, isn't it? Yeah, it's free meals for primary schools. The government apparently are, are pledging a billion pounds to provide uh, every primary school pupil uh, a free school meal. And it, which is, that's the kind of pledge that is never now, after this Glasgow East <laughs> by election. They could honestly promise a £7 billion <laughs> programme to give every family a free unicorn. It's not going to make any, <laughs> any difference to anything, is it? It's, it's all a bit too late. And it's, it's also one of those things where you think, well, that sort of sounds great, but thank God children can't vote, because if you're forcing them to eat <laughs> school <laughs> meals, the future generation aren't going to vote Labour either. <laughs> we were forced to have school meals by Gordon Brown. So, uh, Cynicism on that. one side, is it not a really good thing? I suppose my kids won't eat it. My kids take packed lunch because they don't want to You send them with raw food. No, You're I child don't. abusing I don't. as far as I'm concerned. You don't. They eat properly. No, they, I, I want them to have friends at school, so I don't want them right. to be the stigmatised children. Uh, uh, so they this, have all this. This has got to be good news, isn't it? Mm. No, it's, it's no, no, pointless. It news, they have, yeah. These people who have, don't have children in school, because m my kids would, would, yet they would revolt if I said you have to have school meals. So but I they wouldn't would do eat it. it though, wouldn't they? I mean, no, they the wouldn't. I what if they were nice? Though? Then they'd be very. Jamie no. Oliver was cooking them. <laughs> it's not the point. It would have vegetables with it, and therefore my children think that vegetables come from the Antichrist. So. But the government would say the government would say because of uh, childhood obesity Absolutely. and lack of health, children, children must eat vegetables. And if you're not going to give them at home because they think they're the yeah. Antichrist, then school my must. My children are not obese. My children are fine. No, that is because they don't eat true. anything. It sounds like. They're, they're <laughs> <laughs> and you can. So, you know. Can't they? I mean, I, my children have school meals, but that's because I. Because sort of, making packed lunch is, is so incredibly not boring. Isn't I know it's it? boring. It's incredibly but boring. I love my children, and therefore I'm willing yeah. to do okay. Whereas okay. I, 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 as the only non breeder on the panel until Biggins arrives, I have to say mm. it sounds to me like a good idea. It's a, it's a kind of proper, caring, nurturing, socialist yeah. type thing to do, isn't it? Yeah, and it also just teaches them to eat, you know, what they're okay. given in a. In a God, I'm sounding well, like they, a Victorian a, father. I never I have a smack them and sort them out. Eat your greens, laddie. <laughs> OK, free school meals for primary school yep. kids. What else? Uh, then there's this story about <laughs> David Cameron's bike, which is, uh, which is tremendous. And the thing I particularly love about it is that his idea of... And I'm slightly worried about him being in charge of national security, because anybody who thinks that it's safe to chain a bike to a two-foot-high bollard... <laughs> is there a picture of this? And we got it there. That's the so bollard on the left. left there. So that's... If you chain your bike, it's all right chaining it to a lamppost or something, because there aren't people that tall that can lift it over. <laughs> but with a bollard, you, you literally just lift the bike <laughs> It's off. magic footage, it's though. Just... That, that hand over the face is just an absolute magic yes. moment. It's like, I'm sure I left my bike on that bollard. Yeah. <laughs> Have you seen my bike? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, it's unbelievably stupid, isn't it, to do that? OK, so um, David Cameron's bike has been stolen. Yeah. Uh, anything else? Uh, there's uh, Obama doing this um, speech in Berlin, which is, uh, you know, sort of redolent of uh, JFK yeah, yeah, making yeah, yeah. a big speech in Berlin. But the difference is that though, JFK was the president and Obama isn't yet the president. So it's the response it's he's got would make you... If, you... if you're in the United States and you're a, and you're a floating voter, you'd look at the response yeah. like that and think, I want to get onto this. Yeah, either I? that or you'd think, I mean, the Germans like him, I'm not going anywhere near him. <laughs> you know? I mean, it's not... <laughs> you're not... 
<laughs> You're not sure, are you? You don't know. It could work both ways. But he's come, he's come to Britain, hasn't he, today? I yes, think. indeed. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And yeah. He's, uh, what I've always amused me about him is that his election slogan is, Yes, we can. Yeah. Which is Bob the Builder, isn't it? Essentially. <laughs> so, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. <laughs> Good luck. Well, have you got any more? We could do this all day at this yeah. rate. I'm having a lovely time. What yeah. else have we got?